I want to start today's video by shouting out Revolving Coke, the king of the puppy pack who has just started uploading YouTube videos. Link to his channel in the description if you want to follow. If you have a question about puppy pack, this is the man that you go to. He's intelligent, he's friendly, he's just an all-round good guy and you'll learn so much by watching his videos. So go check him out. And now let's jump into today's video. Hello friends, it's RevGT coming to you live from a very yellow and weirdly lit hotel room. <laughs> We're on a custom back today. Let's let it roll. I don't want to spoil too much in this video, but I do need to give some context for it to explain what you're seeing, but then also to explain what's to come. So I'm back in the team tour. If you haven't seen yet, the team that I have been drafted to is probably the most insane team that's ever existed in team tour history. Perhaps. Potentially. Video will come soon. And actually, at the time of this video going live, my first game will have been played in Team Tour. Video will come, come later in the week that will explain everything. Who am I playing against? I'm playing against Flame96, man. My brother. I'm actually wearing a Hunter Hunter shirt right now. I, I view Flame96 and I as being like Killua and gone. Like, we came from very separate life paths, and then we've met. We started like... We started really going hard on YouTube at a similar time. We joined Team Tour at the same time. This is like... This is like my brother that I now have to fight. And then we'll go back to being brothers again. Why, why, was, I, why was I talking about this? Okay, okay. That's right. I'm in Team Tour. My team is crazy. You'll see the video. I'm versing Flame. But here's the thing. I am going to be playing on random packs this season. So, you know me, like, if you've been following me for a while, competitive sap was never really my thing. And then last year I joined, but with that format last year, I only had to play star pack. And I became quite good at it. This year, all things are changing. People can play on any pack they want. Which means I'm going to face a lot of turtle pack. That didn't really interest me all that much. I actually have a plan for how I want this season to go. But at least now, to start, I'm going to randomize before every game. Unicorn, I've said, no, I'm not playing that. So, Turtle, Puppy, Star, and Golden. I'm going to spin a wheel, whatever it lands on. I'll use it for that match. One issue. <laughs> I never play these packs competitively other than Star. So, I have to very quickly, in like a week and a half, become competent at four base packs. It's quite a lot, man. Especially when you're going against people, funnily enough, like Flame, who are just mega sweats, right? So, what do I do? My captain, who I'm not going to spoil yet. I'm going to leave it as a cliffhanger if you don't know. My captain reaches out to Revolving Coke, the guy who I plugged at the start of the video. And Coke becomes like a P2 coach for me. Sometimes he was coaching my teammates. Hint, hint, Wombat, my Australian brother, and just an all-round good guy. He's coaching Wombat. I'm in a taxi with my AirPods in, and I'm just, ta I'm just soaking in the Revolving Coke knowledge. I'm uh, on a flight. I download... A two-part set that uh, Coke played against Nob, who's one of the other Pack 2 players. And I'm just learning everything. Wait, why did he do that? And then he explains it to me. It's incredible. Now I'm in the VC with Coke. He's teaching me. Puppy Pack is so much more complex than I gave it credit for. It's sort of like characterized... Like if there's one thing you know about Puppy Pack competitively, it's like the pivot. You always hear about the Puppy Pack pivot. You hit some cans, you hit some rice, you hit some lobsters. Bada bing, bada boom. But actually, like, the more you look into it, it's not just who hits a pivot early or who hits a big unit early in puppy pack. There's all this minutia, man. And one of them is toy lines. And that's where today's video comes in. <laughs> I thought, uh... Let's pause. These... Using Lima for radio with a mandrel and a flying squirrel is inherently just flaming ass. However, if you bring in Hippocampus, you know, I don't even think I need to explain this build. You know how it works. Health from this guy, attack from this guy, bada bing, bada boom. I'm more interested in talking about uh, the competitive applications of Puppy Pack. Weirdly enough, while I'm playing in the custom arena, just, I don't know, just roll with it, guys. <laughs> I'm fasting at the moment, all right? I'm a little bit tired. And yellow-ish, for some reason. A yellowish hue. Um, I'll tell you, look, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ramble at this point. Uh, I... If you're someone that's like, you're on the, you're, you're a little bit on the fence about like, should I join competitive saps? Not really my thing. I'm an arena grinder. 
You know what I've learned, man? Like, if you love the game, you will like it. It's simple. Like, you put into competitive stat what you want. There are people in the competitive scene who, like, they wake up every day and they're just, like, trying to commit whatever time they have to being the best player in the world. And that's cool. People respect it. There are other people who just want, like, the social aspect of it. And they just chill out, join streams, banter, it's good. And then other people, you're like, the, the point is, like, you get out what you put in. And if you don't want to take it that seriously, you don't have to. But the more you love the game, the better it will be. Like, it's, it's so good, man. And even though the season's just started, you can still be a part of it. I don't know, I've just gone advertise mode. I don't know, I just think it's really fun, man. I'm having fun with it. That said, I haven't played Flame this week yet. If Flame crushes me this week, maybe I'll... <laughs> I'll be a bit more... I'll be a bit more sour. Uh, by the way, you... This build is, like, fun. You know, using, like, a... A very low-tier toy to try and be the... The scaling engine. It's falling off quite fast, as you can see. Although, I think we do get... Good math here. Like, I... I okay. Let's just, like... Let's just cut the... Cut the crap. I wanted to talk about Puppy Pack, because it's interesting to me. <laughs> and sort of where I'm at competitively. But let me tell you something, if there's one thing you should take away from this video, other than the fact that you should go watch Revolving Coke's videos, because you'll learn a lot, you should learn that the Hippocampus continues to be absolutely busted custard. Like, imagine if I... Okay, let's just say I just in, in, inserted... There we go, this guy. this The Husky right here. Just chuck him in the mix. Get a Hippocampus, you win. As respect to this guy for going a level 3 Pegasus. You'd think he'd crush me here. You'd think. Like, those are some scary pigs, boy. But we draw, and look, the, this, this is like a mid-game powerhouse scaling team. Um, but we're falling off very fast. By the way, I didn't... I didn't optimize my pack. It... Absolutely no interest in using, like, a poodle or an elephant seal. It's just, like, it's too easy of a win. So, if you see me rolling over stuff like that, I'm trying to, like, use a meme in my free slot here. I'm trying to, like, meme with different stuff. Make it interesting. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. To me, it's just, like, it's just fun to have a, uh, a mandrel <laughs> and a lima and the flying squirrel, which used to be great but is now trash. It's fun to have them leading the way. It truly is. As we roll through, I got, I got, I got bad news for you, buddy. This team is, uh, <laughs> is dropping off quick. As you just chuck a bloody, you chuck a blue ring at the front, you know. <laughs> I've run out of commentate. I've run out of both physical energy and commentating energy. Uh, as we close in on what looks like a loss. But actually, give me my health, please. Thank you, win. Light bulb? Is that light mare? Alt account? I don't know. So many questions, not enough time. Give me my drumstick. Are we going to win on turn 16? With this team that is, is is much like me running out of steam. You freeze your drumsticks. Sometimes a good thing to do in real life as well. The popper of the melons. Thus she blows. Why did I say that? I don't know. We lose. Steiger Woods. <laughs> Love that name. Second best name in the arena other than Space Cheems. Big fan of Space... Cheems. You chuck your blue ring at the front. You... You... You, you freeze a, des a desperation waffle. Um... So this guy's doing a build. It's a similar-ish build to something I've done in the weekly. Mmm. Mmm. I don't have summons. And thus I lose. I hope that video interested you in some capacity. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you go subscribe to Revolving Coke. Goodbye!